Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So I told you we're gonna come back, we're gonna do some more with TRP. They've got an amazing, cool brake out there that I can't wait to try. Not tried it yet, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna put it on our mountain bikes and uh, have a lot of fun. So walk us through this new brake and what makes yeah, it so Bart, super absolutely. cool. Yeah, this is the Slate, uh, the T4 specifically. It's a four piston caliper, uh, trail kind of enduro brake. Uh, plenty of power, actually one of the recommended brakes by Single Track Magazine. Yeah. Uh, huge, huge amounts of modulation, not yeah. just power. Awesome. But, but don't uh, get away from the fact that when you pull that lever, you're going to get exactly what you need. Yeah. Uh, fin pad compatible, nice cast lever, some dip link for some grip, hollow pin, mineral oil system, easy to bleed. Um, and uh, like I said, just plenty of modulation, plenty of power. That's the newest on the market, and that's going to cover a lot of angles. So I actually got guys on downhill bikes running it all the way to guys on the trail bikes. So. So guys, I want to talk about one thing really cool that I love about this brake, and this is the reason that I'm going to be trying this brake out is, so <clears throat> I talk about this in a lot of my videos, but when you're riding out there, the most important thing you've got to learn is one finger braking. It's not about two finger braking, and it's not about getting your middle finger. So when you do a test on this, and I've talked about it before, and you're pulling, the power of these two fingers is way too strong for a really great brake like this. This finger right here can still break through, but you cannot kill yourself if you learn how to brake right. So set your brakes up to where you're one finger. But look at this lever and how it can catch that finger for you. So if you start to get out to where you're not right there, it keeps you right where it needs to be. Super important on a really great design for a brake. Once again, one finger braking. When you got a setup like this, it makes it super easy and you can react the way you want to and be able to apply the pressure the way you need to in race situations and yet not go over the bars because you went to this finger or two fingers and hit these really solid and it, and it took you over. That's why disc brakes are so powerful and so cool. So keep that in mind as you're looking for a brake and a good quality brake and set your brakes up right. So we'll be back at you really soon with another little segment. Keep cycling strong.